just 175 and a half kilometers from San Diego de Vosges. It should be a punchier day than today with two category three climbs and two cat twos with another flat run into the finish in Colmar. Uh, this is uh, honest endeavor for Thomas de Gent, Tracknick and again, uh, Cosme Foy, who are going for it right now. But you've also got to know when's the wrong time, haven't you? And that's a difficult thing. And great to see that Tim Wellens is up here. Mads Verst, uh, Tom Squinch and Simon Clark. it was, that finally made it from EF Education First after various different incarnations. Here we are. 25 seconds and the clock looks comfortable heading for the half minute already and uh, just by the demeanor of the pack we're able to declare this one potentially julian alaphilippe the frenchman with it on his back at the moment again very interested in today's stage it seems his team are controlling they are working and working with riders that suggest you might think might be involved at the end on a sprinty day today they are not going to be involved. The likes of Mirko and Ricciesi are working earlier on today. The gap's still at 141, though, so there's obviously been an acceleration at the front as well at the back. Yeah, they have to fight, otherwise they'll be brought back very quickly in this claim. And I think when we got to the bottom of this claim, and that's why Madsworth, they, they would have carried them over this claim. But unfortunately, they, they have to keep the pressure on if they, they want any chance of uh, trying to stay away. And you can see the damage that's been done. Tim Wellens is kind of hanging on the back a little bit now. He just wants to try and stay with these riders and take maximum points at the top of this climb. 12 and a half kilometers remain. He's with the European champion, Matteo Trentin. Not too far behind. You can see Sonny Colbrelli still there as well for Bahrain Merida. Greg Van Avermaet up to the front. And until recently, up at the front as well was Michael Matthews too. This is anybody's stage. Wout van Aert was hanging around there in his white jersey. The GC guys all being protected by their teammates, thinking about the finish tomorrow, but knowing that they cannot take away any little bit of concentration before the end today. Just alongside Rigoberto Uran. Peter Sagan just positioning himself there. Oh, and we've had move from Rui Costa. Rui Costa, the former world champion, just proving that the pace wasn't quite high enough there. Definitely, yeah, but why not make this move on the climb? Behind Bora Han score a chase for Peter Sagan. We know that Matteo Trentin is there as well. Sagan in the green on the right as we look at it now. Look out for the white jersey, Wat van Aert too. This is Mohoric at the front now trying to string it out for Bahrain Merida. 520 metres from the finish. Who's it going to be? Sagan waits in fifth place in the green jersey. They go left, they swing right. The line is up ahead, 400 metres to go. Stage five is up for grabs at the Tour de France. It's Daryl Impey. Behind him, ready to go, is Jasper Sturven. Third wheel, you can see the European champion. And that European champion is Matteo Trentin. 250 to go, and it's Trentin, the Italian, who launches it. Look on his wheel, there are Sturvens going. On the right in the green is Peter Sagan. Behind him is Greg Van Avermaet. And Sagan at the front with Juan Van Avermaet on the left-hand side. It's Sagan all the way, though. Win number 12 for Peter Sagan at the Tour de France. Well, that is going to show you then. The standings from this stage and Sagan beat Walt Van Aert into second with Matteo Trenton in third, Sonny Corbrelli fourth, Greg Van Avermaet in fifth, Michael Matthews one of the favourites for the stage finished in seventh and Julien Alaphilippe the yellow jersey right up there finishing in tenth. Peter, it's uh, always nice to wear the green jersey, but it's always better to win a, a stage of the Tour de France, no? You see, just patient and uh, victory is coming. <laughs> Take us through the, the, those final moments. It was a, it was a tense day. Great work from uh, the Bora Hans Goa team on the climbs, and you delivered. You finished. Yeah, I'm. I have to say thanks to all my teammates. They did very very great job, and uh, finally victory came. Tour de France for us is uh, very nice, and uh, we control the race all, all day. Yeah, on the flat part and until until to the finish. Still in the finish, you had to beat guys like Van Avermaet, like Matteo Trentin, like Ma Michael Matthews. A, a huge uh, satisfaction as well. Well, for sure, but I did my best, and it just uh, came. You know, if I don't win, then everybody gonna ask me what miss. But <laughs> you see, nothing is missing. It's just uh, everybody needs, you know, also good luck and uh, have a nice, good day for uh, for a win. Thank you very much, Peter. Thanks.